Well, let's go to Stuart. He's a Chelsea fan. Right, Stu? Stu Pop. Hi, good evening. This is a bit embarrassing because I normally phone up and um, say to um, O'Hara what a shambles air club is, and I'm doing it the same for Chelsea now. Mm. What's happened? It's a bit of a mess. I think, like Jason said, like uh, some of his interviews in the last few weeks, there's, there's almost been like a, an underlying message that he's been giving out. Um, and I can't remember which game it was. And, and I thought his interview was really, really strange after we'd just won a game. Seems it Brighton? Yes, I think that's the one, yeah. And it just like felt like he knew something that he wasn't saying fully. Mm. Um, and the fact that he's carried on on winning games, but I think he's basically maybe been told that, you know, Connor's going, Trevor's going, and he's almost just like saying, no, this is not the club for me. Um, I don't want to be a part of this. I think it's definitely, like Jason says, it's not footballing reasons. There's something behind the scenes. Um, and with the financial fair play and things, I think it's um, a case of there's players going that he doesn't want to go and he's starting to realise what a mess it is. Mm. Yeah, I mean, if you're talking about getting rid of Shalabar and Conor Gallagher, I mean, he's th- them two players really for him in the back, half, back end of the season have been his best players. He's been brilliant, Trevor. C- Conor's been great all season. Um, but the fact they've... He's got a year left on his contract and the fact that they haven't sat down and agreed a new deal gives you a co- kind of an indication that they've not... He can't agree. And r- r- almost identical what we saw with, with Mace last season. Almost mm. identical, really. And I think... If you had to ask me now whether Connor signs a new deal, as much as he wants to stay, it would appear, I think the writing's on the wall for, and oh. I think they have to move him on. It's crazy. It really yeah. is. Uh, Stu, thanks for cool. Let's go pop. to David. He's a Chelsea fan. He's part of the CFC UK supporters group. All right, Dave. All right, Dave. Hello, Jason. All right, Jamie. Yeah, it's uh, CFC UK fans here, actually. Uh, just before I start, Jamie, right, just so you don't think I'm a nutcase, right... <laughs> I've seen Chelsea relegated three times since uh, I started supporting Chelsea. It wouldn't matter to me where they played. I'll always support them. I'll always love them. Jason will tell you how much of a supporter I am. I hope Chelsea get a massive points deduction and we get relegated. So these owners look at it and think, we can't go on losing this much money. We're going to have to sell it. They're absolutely wrecking that club. It's not just the players who are going to leave. It's the staff who's been there years and years and years who are getting fed up of it. There's one decent geezer on the board, and that's Danny Finkelstein. And he's been he's been a Chelsea support since he was a kid. He's the only person on that board who knows anything about the game. But, but, absolutely but Dave, the are. owners are not going to sell the football club, are they? Well, if they keep losing, if they lose a lot of money, they would. If I had, listen, if I had my money invested invested in Clear Lake Capital, the people the people who are financing Chelsea Football Club, and I saw them spaffing billions of pounds on this football club, and I had my money invested in that company for my kids, their kids, and my, their kids' kids, I'd be banging on their door and saying, "I want my money back." I ain't interested. To me. Keeping Chelsea Football Club going as a community and a supporter asset is far more important than what happens on the pitch. But like, but like Jay and said, Dave, I, I don't think that's going to happen, mate, any time Jason, soon, is it? Jason, J- Jason, to me, right, success to them people running Chelsea Football Club is now many trophies we've got in the cabinet at the end of the year. It's how much money they've made at the end of the financial year. And that's the trouble with it. If they, you know, Conor Gallagher, he's been fantastic. If it wasn't for Cole Palmer, who, to be fair to them, he's one of the, the good buys that these people have made, along with uh, Malo Gusto and one or two others, right? But if it, you know, they sell Conor Gallagher, he's been fantastic. Trevor Shaloba, Chelsea's never lost a game that he's played in, and these people are. For, uh, they, these people running the club are thinking about selling them because of financial fair play. Jason, you know I know a lot of people mm-hmm. who've played for that club, played for the club and are connected with it. One person I went to see last summer, we started talking about Mason Mount being sold. And he could not, he, the first thing, as soon as I mentioned Mason Mount, he said he couldn't believe how quickly these people have messed up financial fair play and that was after a year. They're, they're clueless. And the people like them running the game 
are ruining the game. It's not, they're, they're, no, they're going nowhere, though, Dave. I mean, I know you know that, you know, and, and moving forward now, they, they're going to have... I mean, look, I know you very well, Dave, and you and I have had a conversation about when Jose left. When two, you know, We've been going through this for the last two decades. This is It feels like another start again, and that's, for me, the frustrating part, that, we, that we're starting again. It is a young squad, there's no question. And now we've got to get a new manager in, and this one, it feels like they can't... Like, this one, they got, it's got to get right. They, but you'd say Pochettino was right. Yeah, we didn't get Listen, involved. Listen, Pochettino, I liked Pochettino. A lot of people didn't like him because yeah. because they put him down to being ex-Tottenham. I thought he was fantastic. Mr. Abramovich tried to get him a couple of times with Chelsea. And the reason he has decided to leave is because he's not having enough say in who plays for the mm. team, who picks him. If I run to run in a football club, and I know that people have told me today, oh, it's all about sporting directors and this is the way they run football clubs these days. If I owned a football club and I appointed the manager, I'd expect the manager to tell me who I'd, want, who I'd have yeah, to that, find. That is not, not, the the model. O- not the owners no, of the that, sporting directors they're just not telling, doing that. telling the managers who no, is going to play. That's, not, that's just not how the clubs run now. It's just simply Yeah, not. but it should be. It not. should be. If you appoint the manager to run the all football club, he should be having to say as to, uh, as to what players he wants. Dave, you, you're a voice for, you know, for Chelsea supporters. Um... How are they going to be next season when the season starts? Because I feel like a lot of Chelsea fans that I'm speaking to are, I know, kind of getting a little bit fed up with it all. Mr. Abramovich was the best owner Chelsea Football Club has ever had. He's one of the best owners any football club could have had. And, you know, compared to him, these people are absolute clowns. And by, listen, I'm not the, I'm not, I'm a voice of the Chelsea support. I'm just a voice of the, of the Chelsea supporters. I wouldn't put myself up there as being the voice or anything like that. But I'll tell you what, if it goes wrong within the few weeks of the season starting, then Roman Abramovich's chance will be ringing out, ringing out at every single game. They're fed up of these people. They, they You know, the, the changes that are happening for the supporters are shocking. Absolutely shocking. Um, I, I, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go on in public about what I know that these people try to bring in for the supporters. We're fortunate that they've only brought in an eight percent price increase, but that's going to go on year after year after year. All they're interested in is a dollar. Okay, all right, Dave, Dave's, top man, top Fancy man. Cheers, man. Cool. Have a good summer. Cheers, man. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.